how quickly can we get you from A to B so you can start getting the benefits of, a, of your uh, new system. We have a tool called Rapid Value for Food uh, with predefined prescriptive business processes that are the 100 most common business processes you see in food products manufacturing. Uh, this is backed up with the details of my documentation that I've helped put together, but also by the people on our team who are knowledgeable. Uh, our byline is once you know how, which hopefully connotates we've been there before and we can help you do this. The very first step would be let us introduce you to the basic conceptual models and business processes embedded in AX. Then your next step is if we need to change them, this is the start of your gap fit analysis and you make these decisions about what are we going to try to do in phase one to address the key gaps. You know, and then there's a third piece of that puzzle, which is now that we've reconsidered and rethought through our business processes, uh, let's train our people in those along with the customizations that cover the gaps and bring this up and running because you don't get the benefits until this system is up and running, helping you run your business. One of your critical issues would be, what are we going to cut over in phase one? You cannot do this entire system in one go. So you basically pick the most important business processes, whether it's in sales, purchasing, production, projects, accounting, and you start with those. Now the issue is, is the prescriptive business process that we've seen across our experiences that fit you? And in 80, 90%, it does. Now you're dealing with just the incremental change to say, how can we best use the system to get it up and running in phase one? I really prefer to have that phase one implementation done in six months. There's a whole argument to say, keeping your project small, six months or less, in chunks that you can accomplish quickly. And AX, in terms of how it's designed, you can come up quite easily in six months. As you make it longer than that, you run the risk of other fires occurring or the chunk becomes too big or people are changing. So my point would be you can achieve much of your ROI with the very first phase, bringing that up to address your key business problems. The latest book was largely motivated by the focus of Columbus. We're in three specific verticals and one of them happens to be food products. And so, I thought with the new release of AX2012, and I'll be writing multiple books about it, let's pick the one that Columbus specializes in. It also happens to be one of my specialties. And so this latest book, which is about food products manufacturing, has about 80 case studies in it, but it represents my experience working across slightly more than 250 food products companies. And uh, it also represents our expertise around the globe in food products.